Good evening everyone and welcome back to our course. This is now the video for week three of our course. Um, I'm going to go to my Google Drive folder that I shared with you, go to week three, and I'm going to open up the document titled Assignments and Grading. In this um, file here, you can see that module three is on hypothesis testing. I have the learning objectives listed here for you. I'm going to scroll down. You have a discussion question for five points due by Wednesday and a discussion question due by Friday. As always, your participation is 20 points and you have to have at least two responses on three different days. That is in addition to the discussion questions and you have to follow the guidelines that I have posted. You have two larger assignments due this week. You have the questions to be graded, exercises 16 and 17, which I have in one file for you. So you are going to just type on this the answers to your questions and you're going to um, save that and then upload it. This is both exercises in one. We've got exercise 16 followed by exercise 17. So the answer again to these questions can be found in the reading. I'm going to go back and open up the questions for the SPSS tutorial that I'm going to do. So Exercise 31 has a separate video that I already showed you that you can find in my YouTube source resources. And exercise 32 is the one that I'm about to do for you now. I did want to show you that if your um, Google Drive folder looks like mine, you can switch it. Um, whoops, you can switch it so that it is in um, list format so it's easier for you to see the titles of the actual assignments that I have there. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go back to my question set and I'm going to read through the questions to make sure that I haven't missed anything that I'm looking for. I know that the instructions are in your exercise booklet as well. This is just a walkthrough for you. Um, so the first question, do the data meet the assumptions for the paired samples t-test? So you will review that in the reading and decide if the data set provided meets those assumptions. Um, you're going to draw the histogram here for me, which we've already done. I'm going to have a separate video on that um, to show just how to do the histogram and the Shapiro-Wilk test of no for normality. You need the means for the baseline um, post-treatment effective distress scores, and you need the paired sample t-test value. And then there are just some questions that do go along with that score and the significance of that. So now I'm going to go back to my SPSS program that I have already opened. So I already connected to the Citrix receiver, already opened SPSS, and now I am going to go open the data set that I provided for you. Now remember that I did provide these in the Google Drive folder, so you just can click data sets and you are going to download each of these to your computer so that you do have them to use and that way you won't have to type in the data it'll already be um, there for you so I'm going to go open um, the data set for exercise 32 so now that I have my example to data set opened again check the numbers make sure they are the correct ones that we need for the exercise um, I am going to do what I have done which is delete off the last data set here I'm going to take off the last two and then I'm going to calculate my information based on eight data points instead of the ten that are in the assignment so you can see how I'm gathering my information without actually seeing the answers um, and then you have to do it yourself so some of the things that I needed were the histogram the Shapiro Wilkes statistic the means and the paired sample t-test so I can get all of those other than the paired samples t-test by doing what we did in module one I'm going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. 
I already moved my um, variables over here, so remember just to refresh, you just click, move them over. Want to make sure that my confidence interval is set at 95%. And under plots, I want to make sure that I uncheck stem and leaf and check histogram. I also want to make sure that I check this box, normality plots with tests, because that is what is going to give me the Shapiro-Wilk statistic that I need. Click continue, and then click OK. And that is going to populate our output table here. You can see I have my mean... And then down here I have my mean for my second variable. As I go further down, you can see I have my normality tests. I have my Shapiro-Wilk statistics right here for both variables. As I scroll down, I have my histograms for both variables as well. So that right there is a lot of the information that I did need. I could go start populating um, that information now. So to refresh your memory on that, um, I know I needed the mean. So I'm going to actually just copy this whole table here. Since it's a lot of information, I'm just going to take the whole thing and paste it at the end. So I'm going to mouse over it and right click, then click copy. Now I can go back to my Word document where I had the questions. And I am just going to go to the end of this here. And I'm going to click Paste so that that table is now in there. So up at the top here, I can see my mean is 2.525. Oops, and... Uh, 1.713. So to answer this question then, um, what are the means? I would write those there, those answers in there. 2.525 uh, for effective distress. And 1.713 Um, effective distress post. Right. Um, you might want to put a note to me at this point, see data table at end, so that I know that um, that is where it's stored. Because you do have to show me that you did this on SPSS. That is one of the requirements of the course now. So that's just a way to show me that you have that information in that table that you copied over. So now I'm going to go back over here. I do need the histograms. So here's the histogram. Same thing. I'm going to right click over it, copy. Go back to my document. Um, this is the one that asked for the histograms. So I'm going to um, paste those in there. So I'm going to do the same thing with both of them. Just paste both of those in there. Now you can shrink the size of these just by clicking on it and clicking the handle in the corner. That would actually be really helpful so that you're not using um, a ton of space scrolling through everything. Just have that there and shrunk down a little bit. And then do the same thing with the other one. Um, this asked for the Shapiro-Wilk statistic as well. So you could go in and copy that table out and paste that in. All right. So then the only other thing that it did ask for in here was the... Um, Paired samples t-test value. So we haven't done that one yet, so let's go back to our table here. We are going to go to Analyze, Compare Means, and we want paired samples t-test. We are going to move both of our variables over here. and check your options to make sure that the confidence interval is 95%. Click Continue, click OK, and then down at the bottom here in our output table, it supplied us with our paired samples statistics to include. Now we can use this to gather um, the different information that we need from the questions. So I would just check my questions off here. 
and make sure that I have everything that I need. So what is the paired samples t-test value? So when you go back in here, your paired samples t-test value, it looks like for my data, was 1.982. And then it's going to ask me some other questions about that that I should be able to gather from this table or from the analysis type questions. Alrighty, so then you, after you answer the questions and you paste in your data tables, you are going to save this on your computer. And then you are going to turn it into turn it in for me, and I expect the scores will be higher, and then submit it for grading. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the individual form. I'd be more than happy to help walk you through that again. Thank you so much for your patience. I know that this has been tough learning this new program, but hopefully the videos have helped. God bless and have a great evening.